Well, it's that time again. To make fun of people in Range Rovers? No. To make a cheese sandwich? No. To make a googie? You know, I didn't understand what that meant 20 years ago, and I still don't know what that means. No, it's time to talk about APOC, man. Of course, it all makes perfect sense now. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and yes, it is that time of the year. This weekend is APOC. Uh, I will have a link in the description down below for the Facebook group, and also, if you happen to still be on it, I will link the, I believe, uh, somebody did do a thread on Nerf Haven, if you still use the site for that as well, for additional information. But, I did this last year, I figured, you know what, we'll keep the ball rolling, this is my prep guide for APOC. Um, I have made no darts because I'm not making darts anymore because I have discovered the love of worker. So I just bring in a bunch of these and I actually ordered another hundred from containment crew, which I will get day of. So my darts are done. As far as blasters go, again, I'm going to go kind of light this. I'm actually going to go kind of light this year because I'm bringing my plus bow because this has been my NIC workhorse for about six years, I'd say. Um, I had this originally commissioned, I think, in 2013. Um, I have upgraded and done other stuff to it over the years to, like, really definitely make it my own. Um Besides, like, you know, stock and all that other stuff, yada yadas. But this is going to be my primary for the day, more likely than not. Unless I just feel super lazy or we start running something super stock. But I'm also bringing my Retaliator because I have wanted to use this in a war for quite some time now. Basically, ever since I got it completely kitted out. Um, for those of you who don't know... Uh, this actually has a full worker short dart kit in it, along with a Gavin Fuzzy pump grip, a E-Craft uh, rail plate from Etsy's, and along with a, oh, excuse me, along with a Talon magazine adapter, because I have four Talon mags that I will be able to run. Um, as far as gear goes, ah, there it is. Oh, wrong one. As far as gear goes, um, I'm wearing my shirt that I'm going to be wearing. And I have this, which is my pouch um, for darts and what will be the Talon mags. But that's it. I kind, I'm trying to run a little light this year just because every year I go to APOC, I always bring a ton of stuff and I use like none of it. I bring like four or five blasters. I use one, maybe two, the entire time. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more conscious about all the crap I'm bringing because the walk from the parking lot to the staging area is always a pain in the butt because I will have my tent with me. I will have a chair. I will have a backpack with additional stuff, first aid kit, tool kit, that kind of stuff. Um, along with my duffel bag, which usually has all of my gear. Um, and lugging all that stuff like almost a quarter of a mile is actually very tiring. <laughs> so I'm going to try and consolidate a bunch of stuff because gear-wise, again, I'm running light. All of this stuff will definitely fit in my duffel bag. I may even be able to fit my chair in my duffel bag too, so that will give me one less thing I have to carry. But when you're carrying a duffel bag, a tent a cooler, a backpack, and a chair, that is a lot of crap to carry. And yeah, you could say, oh, make two trips. No, you don't make two trips. Unless you happen to have a wagon and you have that much stuff, no, you don't make two trips. You make one trip there and then one trip back. And that's it. <laughs> that's what most of us do. Um, but I mean... But other than that, um, that's... Oh, and I also have a bunch of these rival things that I've gotten since I have a lot of rival stuff. Um, I'm going to bring those along with the 
traditional bandanas. But in case anyone needs like something for capture the flag or whatever for markers, I figured those are actually pretty smart to have. But that's it for what I'm going to be bringing and what I am going to be using. Um, other than that, I just if you're if, if you happen to be in the Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey area, or hell even the Delaware area, I strongly recommend you guys come out for this war. Um, a lot of people, it's, it's, it's not as big as it used to be, but it's a big tradition for the Nerf community because other groups and organizations and stuff, they have very large wars. I know Cataclysm, uh, recently run by the, uh, New York City Nerf operators, um, had about like 50 people show up for their war. It's a little different than an NIC war because theirs is, I think, I want to say super stock. Um, but then again, you're also talking about like Caliburns, Talon Claws, all that kind of stuff as well. But it's still, I, it's still not something that you would see like, you know, 15 people running this thing. At. I, if I went, I'd probably be the only one running one of these. But anyway, I get ahead of myself. I apologize. But APOC is still a big tradition in the nerf community people still come in from all over the place i know containment crew is going to be coming i'm going to be there clan is going to be there uh there's a certain rumor of uh some vampire from the south making a return uh up north and possibly bringing friends i don't know who again rumor control but it's just a lot of fun it really is uh i mean this is a group of friends that i see really almost once a year so I always look forward to it. I always try and make it the one war that I always try and get to. Uh, another few people I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, Buff Daddy should be there. Um, Carlos uh, Cubis from uh, that I met last year from Facebook. Awesome guy. Hopefully, um, I think he should be there as well. Uh, hopefully, Jeff Blue, our friend from Canada Lands, will be able to make it. Uh, it'd be great to see him again. But... And I know this seems like name dropping, but believe me, there are a lot of people there that I am looking forward to seeing. Um, those are just ones off the top of my head. So if I didn't name you, please forgive me. But <laughs> Jackson, you know I love you, man. Um, but that's really it or going to be it for this video because there isn't really that much else to talk about. If you're in the area, definitely come. I'll leave a link in the description below. And even if you still want to nerf and you can't come out to APOC, check uh, Facebook your Facebook group for local events. I know out in PA, uh, Blair County House of Nerf is going to be holding a charity event as well on Saturday. So if you can't make it to APOC, see if you can make it to there, if that's going to be closer for you or something. But the important thing is, go have fun this weekend. That's what I think I'm trying to say. Just go have fun this weekend. Whether it's at APOC or... Uh, the Blair County House of Nerf thing, your local events, whatever. Just go have fun. But I'm going to end this video because I really have no idea how else I'm going to end this video on f unless I just shut up. So thank you all very much for watching this video. And as always, if you enjoy the stuff me and Arlene do here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing this weekend. And again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Oh, <laughs> oh,